guys welcome back to my channel I hope you're all doing really well today I'm gonna to be showing you this really beautiful everyday makeup look that's perfect for spring it's fresh and lightweight and feels really good on the skin and I love that natural glow and that pop of color on the cheek for an everyday look I literally just put on some concealer a little bit of mascara and I'm good but this is really nice for days when I just want to glam myself up a little bit more and have like a, a natural glam you know I am also using quite a few new products today and a few different techniques and ways of applying my makeup and by the way I am just getting over a bit of a cold I had kind of this gnarly cough so if my voice is a little bit different it's just getting better now but if you hear something different with my voice that's probably what it is because I've been coughing and probably damaging my vocal cords a little bit I'm really excited to share this video with you guys I hope you're gonna enjoy it and let's get started so I'm gonna start with the base and on an everyday occasion I usually just do something really lightweight this CC serum is one of my favorites it's from by Terry it's in the color sunny flesh and it's a gorgeous very lightweight kind of like brightening and kind of gives this beautiful luminosity to the skin so this is really nice for every day and then sometimes if my skin is breaking out or if I just want a little bit more coverage a little bit more of like a, a flawless look I've been really into the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation so I'm gonna take a pump of each and then blend it together on my fingertips and then apply it to my face I feel like when I apply foundation with my fingertips, it just gives a very natural finish and you can really work it into the skin and make it look like it's actually your skin and that's really, really important for me when it comes to foundation. Of course, you wanna make sure that you take it down the neck so that there aren't any harsh lines. Next up for some concealer, my favorite for every day is definitely the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer but I have two others that I've been really into as well and these are definitely more full coverage so they're great for nights out or if you just didn't sleep well or you just have a little bit more to cover underneath the eyes. The first one is from Too Faced, it's the Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, really really good. I also really like this one from Jouer, this is the Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer, both really good more high coverage concealers but again for every day I really like the NARS Radiant Creamy because they are very hydrating and they feel really good for the entire day so you're not gonna feel dry or cakey so I take this underneath my eyes and also around my nose and just a little bit over here and underneath my mouth kind of just like lift this whole area and just a little bit on my forehead between my brows. And I'm just gonna blend this in with my Dampened Beauty Blender. And just for a little bit of extra brightness, just in the hollow bit right here, I'm gonna take that same concealer, but just in a slightly lighter shade. This is in the color Custard, and the other one that I had was in Ginger. So I'm just applying that right there in the hollow, and it's really gonna lift and just brighten up this area a little bit more. Since I have a little bit more of like a tanned complexion, I just naturally have a little bit more darkness underneath my eyes. So my under eyes is definitely an area where I like to spend a little bit more time. So I'm really happy with how that looks. I'm just gonna set that in place with a loose setting powder. This one is from Laura Mercier. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit on my beauty blender and then just pat that underneath my eyes and anywhere else where I applied concealer. If your skin does lean a little bit more on the oily side, it's so, so important to set it with a loose setting powder. For me, my T-zone definitely does get a little bit shiny throughout the day, so I always like to set that, and then also around my nose, and a little bit here on my chin as well, just kind of like around my mouth area. And then I just take any excess and I run that over my eyelids as well. Just gonna apply a little bit of lip balm. This one is from Dr. Hauschka. I've been really, really into this one lately. The ingredients are all natural and it just feels so, so good on the lips. So I would recommend this one as well. And moving on to bronzer, this has been a really big favorite of mine lately. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's their powder bronzer in the shade Saddle and it's a matte bronzer as you can see here. If you guys have seen any of my other makeup videos, you'll know that I really love the one from Too Faced. It's the Chocolate Soleil bronzer and I just wanted to show you them next to each other so you can see like kind of a comparison in case 
case you have this one already. The one from Anastasia Beverly Hills is a little bit more deeper and just a little bit more on the warm side. So I have been stepping out of my comfort zone with this one, but I really, really love it. So I'm gonna use my Sonia Kashuk blush brush for this. Just dip it in there and tap off the excess. I like to kind of pull my hair back a little bit and just go in very small circular motions and really sculpt out my cheeks and just give me a nice bronzy look. I also take it up here on my forehead just where the sun would naturally hit. And since I don't have my brows on yet, I like to just take a little bit across the brow. And again, just naturally where the sun would hit. So really just dusting it all over the side of my face. Again, a little bit in the brow, just to give a very natural sun-kissed look. I'm also gonna take a little bit on my jawline to just chisel that out a little bit more. And then always on the top of the nose, just kind of sweep it across. It gives a very, very natural contour to the nose. It's just such a pretty bronzer. And I like that it's more matte because then you can use it to kind of sculpt your face as well. And then I do like to go in with a more luminous one on top to give a little bit more kind of like a brightness to the face as well. And with that same bronzer, I'm gonna take my fluffy brush. I'm gonna blend away any little crease marks from my eyes. I just make sure to look down a little bit so that I can really find my crease. And I'll take that in a back and forth motion, but also bring it out a little bit towards the outer corner. So I'm kind of making like a sideways S shape with that bronzer. And then I'm also taking the excess and just bringing it down the side of my nose, just to slightly contour here as well. And again, just bringing the excess down the side of my nose. And again, with a slightly smaller brush, this is a nice flat shader brush, and I'm gonna pop this underneath my lower lash line, again, just to blend everything together and make it look really seamless. I love using face products around the eyes as well, especially bronzers and blush and highlight. And this is especially nice for travel, so you don't have to bring you know, more eyeshadows. You can just use what you're already putting on your cheeks. I'm gonna pause a moment on the skin and I'm gonna move on to the brows because I'm so excited to show you guys this little technique. It's something that I just recently started doing. I've known about it for a while, but I've been a little bit intimidated to try it because I'm so used to doing my brows with a brow powder. I've been doing it that way for years, but I recently tried out soap brows. Soap brows are not a new thing. It's been around for a while, but it's a really cool technique that I'm finally getting around to trying. So so you just need a bar of soap and you're also going to need a wet spoolie. I'm going to take my spoolie in the soap and make sure that I coat it nicely in there. And then I'm going to brush my brow hairs upwards. And this is one of the best ways to make your eyebrow hairs like fixed in place. And I love the look of just naturally kind of bushy eyebrows. And then when they're brushed upwards, I think that is so beautiful. I've seen it so much on Instagram and different like beauty blogs. There is a makeup artist that I follow. Her name is Nikki Makeup. And you guys have to go check her out. Her makeup is incredible. The brows that she does is definitely one of her signature things. So I like for all of this to be brushed upwards. And then I just kind of tame down the little tail end, and then I'm gonna do the other side. And again, all of these front hairs will go upwards and be really lifted. And then as we get to the end part, I'm just gonna brush those down. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that set a little bit. And to fill in the sparse areas, I'm gonna take this Brow Wiz from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Dark Brown. It's a nice eyebrow pencil with a very fine tip. I'm gonna make hair-like strokes to just keep it all looking very natural and just as if it's really my brow hairs that are going in this direction. So I'm just gonna try to mimic actual hair strokes rather than just like filling it in so we can get a very natural looking full of brow. I love how this looks. It's quite a small change from how I usually do it, but still I just love this very defined, 
you know front portion of the brow where it's really like standing up I feel like it really just lifts the eye and makes you look more awake and like bright eyed so I really really love this technique let me know if you've ever tried soap brows what your experience has been but I feel like they're nice and like set just like if I would have used a regular brow gel but soap is of course soap it's a lot cheaper and if you can save some money there why not going back to the skin I'm quickly going to add a little bit more of an illuminating bronzer this is the Laura Mercier baked bronzer in shade number five Sona actually used this on me when she did my makeup when I was in LA and she says that this is one of her favorite favorite bronzers and it is really really beautiful and again it just has a little bit more of an illuminating finish to it so I just sweep this lightly across my cheeks and a little bit on my nose. Moving on to blush, I was recently sent this beautiful palette from NARS. This is called their Exposed Cheek Palette, and it looks like this. How beautiful are those colors? So you get six different shades, and one of them is a highlight. One of my all-time favorite blushes is from MAC. It's called Melba, and I just wanna again show you guys them next to each other. I think the color that matches the best is probably this one right here in the middle. But we're gonna play around a little bit with this one, and I think just dip into a few different colors. So I'm gonna take this top middle one right here, and a little bit of this apricot kind of peachy color down here oh that is pretty I love that I love how blush just gives the most like fresh and awake and like little pinched look to your cheeks it's just so youthful and brightening to the skin I also like to take it across my nose a little bit it just picked up a little bit more and I'm just gonna run that across my eyelids as well. I just wiped off any excess product from my brush and I'm gonna go in to that highlight shade over there and I'm gonna sweep that across my cheekbones. Ooh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. I wasn't sure how pigmented it was gonna be, but that's really, really nice, especially for an everyday, you know, very natural look. It's nothing too intense. I'm also going to take a little bit of this into the inner corners of my eyes. Just for a little bit of extra shine on the lid, I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to pop that right in the center of the lid. So just above where my pupil is. Just going to give that nice little like spotlight effect on your eyes and again you're not using any additional eyeshadows or anything so it's all very quick and easy to do next I'm just going to curl my lashes these are the Kevin Aquan lash curlers and then applying my favorite mascara at the moment which is from Charlotte Tilbury this is the volume 2 looks like this this is really really good for adding lots of volume and length to your lashes the formula of this is really really good and it doesn't flake or you know get weird throughout the day so I really really like this one not sure if you can see but I did smudge a little bit here on my lid I'm just gonna let that dry and fix it later because if I do it now it's just gonna get even worse and more smudgy Now it's dried, so I'm just going to take a Q-tip and gently just blend that away. And lastly for lips, I'm going to take my Boldly Bare Lip Liner from MAC and line my lips with this and fill them in just a little bit. Then I'm going to apply my favorite lipstick at the moment, which is called Super Cindy. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. I also love their Pillow Talk lipstick, which I used so much last year. But this color is a new discovery for me, and I love it. I'll actually show you guys the difference between those two lipsticks. So this is Super Cindy. It's the one that I have on today. And then Pillow Talk is this one right here. 
You can see it's almost finished. And I'll put this one right here. And that is the swatch of it right there. So you can see it's a little bit more cool toned, a little bit more nude. And this one is a little bit more peachy, a little bit more like vibrant in color. I love both of them, but especially the actual like formulation and the pigmentation of these lipsticks are really good. They feel good on the lips, they're not too drying, and I like the finish of them as well. They have like a, a silky texture, so they're not matte, but they're not too glossy. And lastly, I'm just gonna mist my skin with a little bit of the Urban Decay D-Slick Setting Spray. This is the finished look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and got to see what some of my favorite products are, as well as some cool new things that are on the market and some new things to me, some new techniques. This type of makeup is definitely my go-to. It's fresh, it's lightweight, the skin is perfected, but it's not too cakey or too heavy. There's a nice natural glow to the skin and that beautiful um, pop of color on the cheeks, which just gives so much life and color to the face. I love it. I will make sure to have all of the products that I used listed down below in the description box. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.